Okay, so we've done some interesting work with the copper bullets, which are designed to retain weight and do a very good job of helping us harvest our meat and get it to the market without any of the issues that it having lead in it will be having more so in the future. But a lot of you out there are going, well, I use my Tor 43 or whatever for varmint control, and I don't want to shoot a fox with a bullet designed to shoot a red deer. You're absolutely right, you don't want to do that. What is there for you? Earlier on, we looked at some bullets which were made of uh, sintered copper and uh, tin powder compressed together. This is a, uh, I've, had to, I've reloaded these because I can't find them loaded in the UK, but I'm not being paid by Barnes, it's just what I happen to have. This is the Barnes Varmint Grenade, okay? Uh, <laughs> so somewhat dramatic, somewhat dramatic naming. Um, it's an American product with American marketing and uh, we wish America well. So what we have here is, is a copper jacket and inside we have a compressed powder metal which doesn't have its own homogenous state. It's basically been pushed together and when it hits something it all flies apart. So we're going to have a crack at one of the uh, five litre containers down there. My prediction is that this should be entirely retained in the container and we shouldn't see any substantial exit from the container. Now when you're shooting a fox that's what you want. A lot of you are on flint, flinty ground or flat fields in Lincolnshire. You want to be able to manage foxes and know that if the bullet hits the ground, there's every chance it's going to break up. Never assume that though. Please, even with varmint ammunition, don't assume it won't break up. You still need some sort of backstop. You need a plan. But here we go. Let's see what these do. We'll go live on the cam. All clear. Okay, so let's see what's happened. We obviously have a fairly violent explosion, the ripping effect, and what we saw on all the others was a hole here, and we got a bit of a hole there. You can see the overall energy dump is both sides on this one. So I suspect that the back of the round has come through. Unfortunately, this emptied out to such a degree. I can see some impacts on the inside where some of the bullet fragments have actually hit. We've got the back of the bullet, it's quite interesting, whilst we have an exit on the back, slightly funny angle thing, that is all that's left of the round. So we started off here with this and the most substantial part of the bullet we can find after shooting a single can is that. That is all that's left. This has been designed for your average fox go for a coyote, that kind of thing. They use them in America where the, the, the fur of the animals is still valuable um, because if you shoot a coyote or one of these, you don't get an exit wound, so you don't get the damage to the, uh, the fur bearing animals. So this is what they said it would do, and I'm really pleased to be able to demonstrate that this is what it's done. Fit for purpose, varmint shooting without lead. <laughs> 